Hi there friends, welcome once again to Prophecy Update, where we look at current events in the light of Bible prophecy. My name is Bob Mitchell and I will be with you for the next few minutes. Before we get into today's video, once again, please remember to like, subscribe and share the video. When you click that little thumbs up button, it does help YouTube and their metric system and enables them to share the video far and wide. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We'd love to have you with us. And please, when you like the video, if you like it, please share it with your friends and neighbours and all on your social media. Friends, in my best-selling book Antichrist, the Vatican and the Great Deception, I noted that the global elite appear to send messages through certain events. Also, I believe that the beings behind the message and the signs of their plans are straight from the pit. They are demonic. Now, I made mention of the 2012 Olympics which was full of occult and Masonic imagery for telling the satanic plans for the planet. We did see what appeared to be a phoenix rising from a world in flames indicating the coming New World Order. But looking back, the world in flames looked more like a global coronavirus and the coming global pandemic. And the phoenix was in fact heralding the Great Reset. Then, in 2022, they displayed their plans again at the Commonwealth Games here in the UK in Birmingham, when, during the opening ceremony, a huge beast, a bull, entered the arena. Many said this was due to the fact that, historically, Birmingham is well known for an area called the Bull Ring, where cattle were once sold. However, what clinched it prophetically for me, and many others, was the fact that the beast was being ridden by a woman, a picture that was right out of the book of Revelation. And then, to drive the prophetic symbolism home, all those around the beast, people from countries around the world, bowed and worshipped the beast. So I was pretty certain what I was watching was a message between the demonic and the physical world. The world is getting ready to worship the Antichrist. Of that I'm certain and we'll see why in a moment. So we did go through a pandemic with the virus looking just like the image seen in 2012 and the Phoenix was representing the Great Reset. Since then, we've had a call for global digital passports, 15 minute cities where we're not permitted to travel more than 15 minutes away from home in order to protect the planet, of course unless it is for a holiday or some other event. There's going to be a central bank, a digital currency, where cash will have to be phased out, and we are only permitted to spend what the government deems is permissible. Spend too much on chocolate, and you could be penalised, or going to the cinema far too often, or meeting with your friends and spending too much on coffee when you get together. You may find your credit score has reached its limit for this month, and you'll have to ask a friend to pay instead. Friends, this is only part of the world our leaders have planned for us, and so have Satan and the demonic world. It is they who are really orchestrating these global events from behind the scenes. So let's move on to the last few days and the Eurovision Song Contest. For those of you who don't know, this is a contest that is Europe-wide and it's held every year since May 1956. Many of you will remember it was ABBA who won in 1974 with their song Waterloo and that launched the group into superstardom and their songs are still played and performed to this day, while other winning songs, many of them are long forgotten. A lot of the scoring is looked upon as being political more than just looking at the quality of the song, though most of us agree Abba's song was head and shoulders above the others. Well, be that as it may, the quality of the songs has deteriorated over the years, and this year I believe it was at an all-time low. Though I have to admit I don't really watch it, I simply read up the next day on what took place and I watch some of the songs and this year was a demonic festival as far as two songs in particular were concerned. 
And that's just my opinion as a Christian. You check me out and make up your own mind. The stage was in the shape of a cross, and although I understand the Swiss flag has a cross on it, and it was held in Switzerland, I do wonder if there was a spiritual element involved that only spiritual eyes that are open would truly recognise as coming from the spirit of the world. Again, the shape of the stage is up for question, but the two songs I have in mind that truly show the satanic nature of the event this year are one that was performed by a practising witch from Ireland, the group goes by the name of Bambi Thug, and a non-binary man named Nemo. So let's first look at Bambi Thug, who describes herself as a non-binary witch, and she has said the following, My goal in life is to make everybody leave all the other religions and join witchcraft. The performance of the song Doomsday Blue was simply satanic. There's no other way to describe it. It was a promotion of Satanism, the occult and witchcraft, which she calls Ouija pop, after the Ouija board where participants attempt to contact the spirit world, something I did in my occult days before God rescued me. The word Ouija comes from the French and German word for yes, we and ya. In other words, it's a yes, yes board. And let me tell you this first. Anyone considering trying to contact the spirit world this way or any other way, apart from praying to God and the biblical way, is in very real danger of opening something they will find very difficult to close. Please take it from me, one who's tried it and found out the hard way, that it isn't a game, but it's a portal to possible demonic possession. In fact, as I wrote the previous words while preparing for this video, the autosave on my laptop suddenly failed for the first time ever. The demonic world doesn't like to be exposed, so please be in prayer for me, because this is real spiritual warfare. Just doing this video is spiritual warfare. Anyway, let's continue. As Bambi Thug's song Doomsday Blue carried on, as the song begins, the singer is seen within a black magic pentagram. She then proceeds to dance with a demonic-looking male. Later on, he's on the floor with the singer standing over him, seemingly pronouncing spells or curses. That's what it seemed to me. But I noticed something else. She often wears symbols on her forehead. And on the night in question, she, when she performed this song, it was no different. So when I zoomed in to what it was on her forehead, lo and behold, it is clearly three sixes intertwined, the mark of the coming Antichrist. Again, I believe the demonic world is sending a message that the planet will soon be under the rule of the coming lawless one, the one the Bible calls the Antichrist. As the previous symbols I've shown in the 2012 Olympics and the Commonwealth Games of 2022, this too is heralding what is about to come to pass. This is the plan of the global elite and their demonic satanic masters who influence their plans for these end times. So is that imagination? You tell me. And is this a song aimed at winning the Eurovision Song Contest? To me, it was simply a demonic display of how the world is going down a very, very dark path. It's revealing all of Satan's plans for the planet, whether the participants in the show realised it or not, they are being used to soften the world to what is coming, to accept acts like this as normal, and eventually witness the reality of Antichrist's appearance. Remember, Satan is the prince of the power of the air. So could we also say the, the air waves? What you allow into your home via the radio, the TV and the internet. Even though I understand there were some complaints about the contest's content, the majority of viewers were silent. Friends, the world is subtly being prepared for the very last of the last days, perhaps not so subtly. Years ago, this act would not have gotten as far as passing an audition. So how did the crowd react to the song? Were they horrified? Were they shocked? No, they were cheering all the way through the performance. She then ends the song by screaming, Crown the Witch. 
I'll leave a link to the two performances below this video and another one I'm going to show you as well. So look out for three links below the video. The winning song, titled The Code, was performed by a guy named Nemo, who says the song reflects his journey toward being non-binary. I had to check on exactly what non-binary means. Non-binary denotes having or relating to a gender identity that does not conform to traditional binary beliefs about gender which indicate that all individuals are exclusively either male or female, which of course goes in direct contradiction to the Bible, which clearly states that when God created mankind, he created us male and female, not people who are neither one thing or the other, or can choose their gender. Nemo says the following, the code, the song, is about the journey I started with the realisation that I am neither a man nor a woman. Finding myself has been a long and often difficult process for me, but nothing feels better than the freedom I have gained by realising I am non-binary. Nemo is addressed as they or them. I have no idea whether or not Nemo has some physical abnormality we can't see, but on the screen to me he does look just like a guy. He appeared on stage dressed in a pink skirt, pink tights, and a foul fur pink jacket. Some of the phrases he used in the song made me think of the Lord Jesus. Phrases such as, I went to hell and back, my kingdom come. Nemo then knelt as if he was in prayer. Then I noticed he was wearing what appeared to be a crown of thorns, which he later held in his hand as he danced around the stage, to the cheers and the screams of the audience. That was the winning song, and to me, that was a parody of the Lord Jesus, something that is totally unacceptable and blasphemous. Whether he intended it that way or not, it was a parody of Jesus. Now remember, I'll place a link to both of these songs and the following one beneath this video, so please make a comment. So finally, there was a tribute to Abba who won the contest 50 years ago. Three people who I didn't recognise but are obviously well known, I guess, I don't honestly know, they sang Waterloo and in my opinion they butchered the song. But that's just me. I like the way Abba sang it. The trio consisted of two women and a bearded man in a shoulderless dress with a split up to his thigh. Well folks, such is the world today. A non-binary, multi-gender, seasonal gender, if you wish. A planet that has totally fallen from the knowledge and the fear of the God of the Bible. It's a world that's heading for judgment and just doesn't know. Or if it does know, it just doesn't care. Friends, it's our command as believers from the Lord and as believers to reach as many as we can with the gospel of the Lord Jesus and see as many as we can saved by God's grace. Speak to those who you can. Leave Christian literature if you are shy. Chick tracks are what I consider to be the very best to leave around. And above all, friends, pray for the lost. Please pray for me as I endeavour to bring you these updates. Pray for the protection of myself and my family. We are in a spiritual battle that will only intensify until the Lord Jesus returns. But you know what? We have a great commander-in-chief, the Lord Jesus, and he isn't in the White House. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, coming ruler of the earth on his soon return from heaven. He is for us, and so are legions of angels. They are with us. And the Bible says we will conquer in the end, not by our own might or our strength, but by his mighty spirit. Please remember to like, and please remember, as I said at the beginning, to give us a thumbs up, as it does help YouTube's metric system to share the video to more people when you give us a like and a thumbs up. And, friends, if Messiah returns before I speak to you again, <laughs> you know where we'll meet. I'll see you in the clouds. God bless you, and I'll speak to you soon, Lord willing. Bye-bye.